everybody welcome back to my channel I am headed to take my dog to get his stitches out if you remember that I said in my last update for my family I was doing an update on my family um, I was talking about how my dog had to have stitches or stitches I had had a surgery because he had kidney stones well Today I am going to get it the, his stitches removed from the surgery. So the surgery went well. Um, I actually have to be there in three minutes, and it takes me. Oh, you're sliding. Uh, it takes me about twenty minutes to get there. <laughs> oh, so um, so we'll see how that works. Um, but. Um, when I went, well, he was fine after the surgery. Um, well, not right after surgery. Oh, you're slow. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should put you. No, that's not gonna work. Um, I guess I'm gonna pull it right here. Um, right after the uh, surgery, he came out like crying and everything. Um, he wasn't good until he came home, and then he like crashed on his bed. But the next day he was fine. Actually, like three o'clock that morning, he was fine, and he was. Uh, of course, there's like construction, and then but he's wagged his tail for the first time in several months, so that's always a good sign, right? And then, uh, but we got a call, or the vet told me that he saw something on his bladder that he didn't like. He said it's one of three things. It could either just be irritation from the kidney stones being in there for so long. Um, oh, I'm gonna go. Sorry, I have it down to like one light. Uh, kidney stones being in there for so long, or it could just be a polyp, or it could be cancer. Um, when I went to pick him up, I want I, did, I could just go in there and pick him up and leave, or I wanted to talk to the vet that, saw, that did the surgery on him. But the vet, um, well, I was like the last one in there, <clears throat> and I and I thought that for the minute that he forgot about me, because they were like closing up, and I heard people like, oh, I'm, I swept that up already, I'm turning that computer off and everything, and I was in there for like a long time, and I was like. Did they forget about me? Oh, there's a police officer. Hi. I don't have a, okay. <laughs> Cause like, I didn't want to think I was on a phone or something. No, I'm just having, I'm just recording myself. Anyway, um, finally came in and he was telling me about that. And uh, he said he would send it off and, uh, and come and let me know. So uh, he came back that it was cancer. So we're gonna. He said there's one or two things we can do. One, he could send me to an oncologist. But with his Baxter's age, he's 14, 15 years old, and I was just like, well, he's so old. And then, that's pretty much what the vet said too. And one, I don't think we could afford it because uh, that's that would be pretty expensive. Um. And then I was like, well, he said, we well, could just put him on some medicine that can just prolong like his life, make it longer. So that's what we are planning on doing. And um, not exactly the news I wanted to hear. I'm not really surprised because when you have old dogs and old any kind of animal, you expect them to eventually get some kind of sickness or usually cancer but uh so when he said that he saw something in there i knew that's probably what it was and he said that's usually what he see uh, that cancer usually does start growing in the bladder there so but i don't know i feel like that i uh i am the kind of woman well one day i want to own a 
like a house or something. I'm supposed to be there like two months ago. A house or something that takes care of old and or sick animals. I don't know, I just feel like that's kind of like my calling. I don't know how I'm gonna afford it, <laughs> but um, maybe one day YouTube will just blow up for me. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't know. I would love to do that. Take in sick or and or old animals. The reason, one, I feel like it's my calling is one, I just love animals, but two, I saw when I adopted Baxter when he was a puppy, I actually saw this old basset hound there. And I was like, oh, I used to have a basset and everything. And then when I went to go get back, uh, Baxter fixed, that basset was still there. And I was like, oh, no one's gonna adopt an old dog. And I wish I would have adopted that dog. I would have done it. Now I just wanna adopt old dogs and old just pets in general. And then another reason why I want to adopt sick animals is because I used to have a cat just a few years ago and she got sick with cancer and she got this like big knot in her neck and her eye eventually like ended up like popping out. Well maybe not, I shouldn't say pop out, it started protruding and uh, she ended up passing away and I just want to take care of those animals, you know? give them a last few good years of their life and make them comfortable so that's what I want to do that's my what I want to do with my life that and travel but the two really don't go together because you gotta be there for the sick animals you can't really be gone but maybe I'll travel and then take care of some sick old animals but yeah um but yeah, I'm going to go take care of Baxter, and I'm not sure what else I'm going to do today. Um, I I need to go home and clean my kitchen. I know you're always like, oh, you need a clean kitchen. Do you clean anything else for your house? Not really, because I feel like my kitchen's always dirty, and I just feel like that's the part of the house that really needs to be clean because you like eat in there. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that because James, he's actually, if you've been wondering where James is, James is at my in-laws. We actually all went and spent the weekend with them this past weekend and he has been there all week. It is now Thursday and he comes home on Saturday. But um, they, James and Hannah usually play in the back living room and Hannah it does not do well by herself back there. And I don't really get to get a lot of cleaning done when James isn't there to play with her. So I might be this baby back there playing with her. I don't know. We'll see how much cleaning I get done. Without, oh, well, she's at home right now with David, but David is supposed to be working and he's having to pay attention to her. So I have to make this tri trip quick. All right. I will see you. Hopefully. Go still <laughs> not too late to the vet, but I will see you either at the vet or after the vet. We're back, Baxter. I've always liked the paintings in here. So that was, I was in there like less than five minutes. That was really, really quick. Are you gonna pop your head up, Baxter? No, you're just gonna pant. Okay, so I'll make this quick so I can turn the air conditioner back on, James, or James, <laughs> Baxter. Um, I'm not wearing lipstick, or I didn't. I only did my eyes up because you still have to wear masks when you go into the vet's office. So I was like, why do this down if I just, no one's gonna see it. And then I'm just gonna get lipstick and makeup all over my mask. So. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna go home and let's see what I can get into. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is that a happy meow? When I got to the, um, 
I forgot to mention when I got to the vet, I was like, sorry, I'm late. And she was like, oh, you're not late. You are actually right on time. I don't know what clock she was looking at, but I'm glad she was. You giving Cookie Monster a massage? I don't know if he likes the claws. Are you having a good lunch, baby girl? Yeah, kiss. Kiss. Kisses. Can I get a kiss? Mm -hmm. Kisses. 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 Rocky, you want to give Rocky a kiss? Kisses. Just daddy. Thank you, baby girl. Brush teeth time. Oh, you can't bite it. Yeah, daddy, eat it. After I put Hannah down, after her, gave her her bottle, I took a nap, and then I haven't done anything for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. I do want to try to get, show her teeth, her new teeth. Are you going to show us your teeth? These are in real good. Like, these are really... I wanted to show the, she's getting some new teeth in the back. I'm going to open up. I get the gun. Now I gotta get the side gummies. I'll give it back to you. And a banana. Open up. You're not gonna let us see the inside your mouth, are you? Smile. Say cheese. Yeah, I get two actually coming back there. On both. On both? I see one, I see two on the side. Oh, now. I really haven't seen I only saw one. And now oh. I see two. Hi. 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 Say cheese. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna fight her. Can I get a kiss? Night night? No, I don't I already brushed my teeth. Kiss. No? Okay. Well James isn't here, so you gotta tell him to like, subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of our videos. And if you do miss our videos, go and find them. <laughs> <laughs> Show them your banana. Okay, I guess she's done. All well done. Bye. Bye. Pika, pika. Pika, pika. All right. Bye bye. Say bye bye. No, no bye bye. Time to go to bed. Say bye bye. 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 bye.